more eagle-eyed uh, amongst you will have noticed that recently I've switched over to this radio here and I'm not using my Royce home base at the moment. There is a reason for that and I thought I'd just post an update because I know a lot of you like the Royce and say how nice a radio it is and I absolutely love the radio. But I've got a problem with it and now it's escalated so I'm just going to post you a little update of what's happened to the Royce. Um, I am absolutely gutted. So I've got the Royce in bits at the moment on my workbench. Um, the problem I had was I lost modulation on AM and I lost transmit and modulation on SSB. I still had RF output so I could still transmit on AM but no mod and I had no mod and no TX on upper sideband or lower sideband. So while I had it on the bench and I was working away on it, I had this upside down and all of a sudden smoke started pouring out from in this portion of the radio. So I thought, crap. So I quickly flicked the radio over and what I found was the DC power wire had come off and was shorting out over in this area here. And now, I believe it was connected to this point here. I mean, if anyone can verify that, but it went there. And now, if I connect it there, the radio will turn on and I've got AM power uh, and the radio lights up. But as soon as I flick the mode switch onto LSB, i.e. USB or LSB, the whole radio goes off and goes dead. Um, I can demonstrate for that for you. Let me just connect on. Hold on. So if we put the radio... Oh, it hasn't come on. Hang on. Hold on. Right, I actually had it in USB mode, so let me turn this on. Right, radio's on, all lit up, flick to lower sideband, all off. Back to AM, back on it comes. Now, I'm looking in here and I've found this capacitor here. Let me just disconnect the power on this for the time being. And there seems to be this capacitor here, which is across here, and I'll have to zoom in and get a picture. What you've got, you've got the top section here seems to have a chunk out of it and the leg here seems to be blown off. And I'm wondering if this is actually shorted out where the power lead came off and it's damaged it. This is uh, where the power from the DC selector switch comes up. And when I put my probe across here, I initially start out with about 10 volts of power and then it slowly starts going down towards zero. So I've also discovered and this isn't good as well, if I push the back of here, when I'm keying up on AM, I also lose some power as well. So I seem to have got a dodgy joint. I'm assuming it's either on this, uh, I've got a dodgy earth, because as soon as you push it back like this, you can actually get AM power back if it's not working. Sometimes you key up and it's fine. Sometimes you have to do this and wobble the radio to get it back. So. My Royce is not looking very healthy at the moment, so I've got a bit of work to do. So as you can see, I've got it in bits. I will keep you updated, and I can assure you I am working on this, and I will get this thing going again, because I love this radio, and it's a nice-looking piece of kit, and I need it to be up and running again. So I just thought I'd give you a quick update. Um, as I know people like the radio, it's not gone. It will be back. Um, I'm going to have to look this capacitor up. I mean, if anyone recognises that capacitor, and also with the like orange colour, the, the yellow band, the black band, and then more orange, I suppose really I'd better desolder it and test it. I'll do that now. OK, so I've got the component in there now. Let's have a look and see what she says. So it says it's a 201.1 .1 nanofarad. 201.1 .1 nanofarad so it almost looks like it's working but I need to go and look this component up and see if I can work out whether that is actually the right component or not I don't know what value that should be right let's uh, make that my next port of call well apart from getting a cup of tea and putting the kettle on but we're on our way so looking at this table on the screen then the top band is orange so that makes digit A 3. Then we go to yellow, which is 4. So we've got 34. Then we've got black, which is the multiplier, times 1. So 34 times 1 is 34.
Then we've got the tolerance, which is orange, which looks to be plus or minus 0.25 picofarads. And then the voltage rating is brown, is at the bottom. And I think it's a type L component, which according to this, is a polyester stroke polystyrene capacitor. So we got a 34 picofarad plus or minus a quarter of a picofarad and it's a 100 volt rating. So if anyone's got any other suggestions and I've got that wrong please let me know but that's what I'm going to run with until I hear otherwise. Oh, these, um, these capacitors, from what I've been finding out, are obviously quite brightly coloured, and they're called tropical fish capacitors, which is an interesting name for them.